So I'm gonna do Swiss roll next. Swiss roll? Swiss roll. <laughs> Swiss roll. Today is a huge day. Probably the most important day in Nick Sands YouTube history. Take two. Because we are taking a trip down the Nostalgia Highway. It's Little Debbie Ice Cream Day. Walmart has done a collaboration with Little Debbie Snack Cakes. While I am disappointed that Walmart didn't contact me directly, I decided that I am going to do a review of these ice creams, all seven flavors. Little Debbie was like the queen of the snack cake world when I was a kid. You had Little Debbie, that was like the people's champ. That was like the Muhammad Ali. There was Drake's, and Drake's really just had devil dogs. Hostess, which, had their cupcakes with the little curly cue on it. And then there was Entenmann's and only your grandmother and British royalty ate that. And I guess as an honorable mention, you would have tasty cake, but that was more of a Southern thing. Like we didn't really have those up here. This is what we had. So Little Debbie is Southern. She's from Tennessee. She's a true Southern belle, which is why I found it so shocking when I discovered that they decided to team up with Hudsonville ice cream which is located in Michigan? Michigan? Doesn't make any sense. Kind of insulting to the South. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, moving on. We're gonna still give these a fair, a fair taste. We're gonna put those things aside. That's politics. That doesn't have anything to do with what we're gonna do here. And what we're gonna do here comes down to one thing, and that's the taste. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is that I don't necessarily trust that they did a good job lining up the taste, right? I don't know, does honey bun taste like a honey bun? And that's why I brought these bad mamas down. So that way I could do a side-by-side -side comparison, which in my opinion seems like the only way to do it. I'm gonna make a couple of predictions here. I am going to predict that honey bun, this one, this one, the honey buns, I believe that's gonna be the dark horse. I believe that's the one that's gonna be underrated because honestly, honey buns, I never really loved them. But last year, honey bun cereal came out when they teamed up with, I don't even know who, General Mills, I guess. Anyways, they came out with a honey bun cereal and it was phenomenal. It was literally one of the best cereals I've ever eaten in my life. Now, don't get me wrong. I think honey bun's gonna be in the top three, but top dog is gonna be Cosmic Brownie. It is, in my opinion, the best of the Hostess cakes. And that's it. I just think it's gonna be the best one. All right, let's fucking crack these things open. I forgot a spoon, I'll be right back. Like, bro, how are you gonna forget a spoon during your ice cream taste test? That doesn't even make sense. I'm gonna start with the strawberry shortcake. Ooh, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna eat this first. I think I'm gonna try the ice cream and then I'll try the cake and see how it goes. All right, so here we go. Your first look. So I'm gonna get right in there. Ra I'm seeing raspberry swirl and cake pieces in there, which is pretty much what I expected. We're gonna give it a try. Pinky out. All right, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. It tastes very strongly of the like strawberry, super fake strawberry flavor. This is fantastic. And they nailed it. But now, the real test. How does it compare to the original? Honestly, I feel like they just absolutely hit this one spot on. Absolutely crushed it. Which puts me in a bit of a dilemma 
because I'm planning on rating these one out of ten. Uh, and this being the first one, I don't know how to rate it. Like, I don't want to give it too high. I want to leave room for these other ones to shine. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to give Strawberry Shortcake a solid eight on the sand scale of delicious. Interestingly, that's actually the highest score that's ever been given on the sand scale because it is the first score ever being given on the sand, on the sand, that's really hard to say, on this, the first score ever being given on the sand scale. So today, we're setting records as well as trying these delicious frozen treats. I'm gonna, you know what, I'm gonna go with the zebra cake. Uh, you know, you know what, I'm gonna go with the oatmeal cream pie. So, gotta make a pyramid again. All right, oatmeal cream pie, never my favorite. Never my favorite hostess cake. Or, I mean, Little Debbie. Oh, shit. Don't sue me. Do not sue me. That was an accident. Little Deb. Deb, come on. Don't. That was an accident. Never my favorite uh, Little Debbie snack. However, it is the ice cream I was most excited about. Because every time I say cream pies... I'm gonna zoom in on my mouth and I think it's gonna be super funny. And so that is why I was most excited about um, getting the oatmeal cream pie ice cream. It's like we just got some straight up oatmeal cookies in there. So I'm just gonna take a bite of it. Very subtle cinnamon, not overpowering, not bad, but not great. Certainly not as good as the strawberry shortcake. Let me just take one more bite just to, just to, make sure that I'm, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be, being thorough. So as a concept, very straightforward, it is these guys broken up and mixed into vanilla ice cream. Simple yet elegant. I have no doubt that this is gonna taste exactly the same because it was literally just pieces of this in that. I literally just spilled that all over my house. There's fucking crumbs everywhere. Pretty good. Again, not my favorite. I would actually say the ice cream tastes, let me think of how I'm going to phrase this, because this is going to be controversial. I would say that the ice cream tastes like a better version of the oatmeal cream pie. But take that with a grain of salt, because I am biased against the oatmeal cream pie. Why don't we do zebra cakes next? Because I feel like this is going to be pretty much the same as the oatmeal cream pie. It's going to be zebra cake broken up in there, maybe with some, maybe with some white fudge chunks, a little bit of chocolate swirl. Oh yeah, dude, look at, look at that chocolate swirl, son. Hell yeah. All right, so it looks like, what's that? Oh, you're not gonna believe what I just found. There's like a, a air pocket chamber in here. There's like a giant, there's like a giant air pocket chamber in there that's in the middle. So they just made this look as if it was fuller than it actually is. Anyways, going back to this. This is really just vanilla ice cream with a chocolate ribbon. Honestly, I feel like this one doesn't deserve to be called zebra cake. Doesn't really taste like a zebra cake. Oh, that's gonna cause a mess. It tastes like vanilla ice cream with a chocolate swirl in it. It's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. You know what, did I give this one a number? I don't think I did. I don't think I gave this one a sand score. Okay, so this one is definitely, I would say, I would say that's a four. I would say this one's a four too. Solid four, but four nonetheless. This one was just extremely, I, kind of disappointing. I, I feel like they put no energy into that one at all. And I'm gonna open this up and taste it, but I don't, it doesn't taste anything like a zebra cake. This tastes literally nothing like this. And in fact, this is not even nearly as good as I remember them being. Little Debbie, Little Debbie really struck out on the zebra cake. Nutty bar, baby. All right, so this one I'm just expecting to mostly taste like peanut butter. They, they fucking nailed this one. Damn. Oh, it's really fucking good. So everybody knows that Nutty Bars didn't taste like peanut butter. They tasted like fake peanut butter. They tasted like the kind of peanut butter you would expect to be made in a candy store. And this tastes exactly like it. I mean, I'm assuming it's just using that peanut butter and mixing it in, but 
Wow. Way to go, little Debbie. I would give that, I'm gonna give that one a, I'm gonna give that one a nine. My cats are doing something, I'll be right back. It was nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a 9.88888. This is, this one hit high. You can never hit that 10. This one's the one though. This one, that was good. That was really good. So now I'm tasting this. This was really missing a, a key, a key piece because there's no wafer in it that I could taste. There may be chunks somewhere in there, but they were not in the bites I had. So hopefully they have those in there. Either way, what did I say? 9.88888. So I'm gonna do Swiss roll next. Swiss roll? Swiss roll? <laughs> Swiss roll. Could not find the actual cake for some reason. For some reason they were completely out. I checked three stores. I'm not gonna be able to test this one up against his real world counterpart. But this is the first, I think this is the first, yeah. This is the first one that has a chocolate base ice cream. That's pretty good. So it's like a chocolate ice cream with chocolate um, little sprinks in there. And then it's got like just, it must just be the white filling. The filling adds a nice touch, which is to basically what is just chocolate ice cream. That's pretty good. It tastes like something, but I just can't, I don't know. It tastes, I can't, I can't put my finger on it. Let me try one more bite. It tastes almost like almond, maybe? I don't know. What this does make me think about though, is I can't decide if I like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream better, cause it's like vanilla ice cream, I feel like, do I like vanilla ice cream better than I like chocolate ice cream? Or do I like the fact that vanilla ice cream lets ingredients shine? Whereas chocolate ice cream is kind of its own thing. Comment below whether you like vanilla or chocolate better. Next up, Honey Bun, Dark Horse. I should have been keeping track of these scores. What did I score this? I would, I think I would score it a seven. I don't know if that's what I said, but that's what I'm gonna say. So, we got two fours, a seven. I think I gave this one an eight, and a 9.88888888. Next up is Honey Bun, which again, Dark Horse. This is the one I think is gonna surprise everybody. So I'm a man who loves sweet things, and this is honestly kind of too sweet. And I don't think I've ever said that in my entire life. But this one's hitting different. Like, it was good. First bite. Second bite, I was like, wow, that's really sweet. Third bite, I was like, that is like super, super sweet. So you see the natural glaze, they got like frozen. They got frozen natural glaze up in there. It's pretty good, pretty good, not great, pretty good. I would say, let's give this one I would give this one, I think I would give this one also, ooh, maybe, I would give it a 7.5. 7.5. Not great, not terrible. Way better than zebra cake. All right, so finally, chocolate brown, or cosmic brownie. And it's just chocolate ice cream. I'm digging it around to see, because I'm assuming there's going to be brownie pieces up in this. Okay, here we go. So we got brownie pieces, and it also looks like they got the little hard candies that go on the Cosmic Brownie in there, and it's a chocolate base. Doesn't look like they, looks like they were a little bit stingy with the uh, brownies, if we're being honest, though. So just something to consider for the future, little Debbie. The little candies had a surprising amount of flavor. I'm not even gonna try the honey bun. The Cosmic Brownie is good. I think I would give it an eight, eight point, I would give it an 8.64. 8.64. It does not taste anything like a Cosmic Brownie, but I do love a Cosmic Brownie, so I'm gonna eat one anyways. That is fantastic. Oh man, this is like the chewiest brownie. I like, cannot swallow this thing. Ugh. All right, we did it. Seven flavors, they were all delicious. Some better than others. Some will probably linger in the freezer. This Nutty Bar one is probably gonna be gone by tomorrow. I think I may be going into some kind of diabetic shock, so I'm gonna get going. Thank you so much for checking out my, my, my video, and I hope to see you guys again. Like and subscribe. Bye.